Hello everyone, welcome back to my country farmhouse sewing room. So today is tool time. Tool time. Hello and welcome to tool time. So today I want to talk about some rulers. We weren't actually going to do a video on rulers. Um, we just picked up this Quilter Select ruler from Sheet Sew Creative and I didn't think it was that big of a deal until I started using it. So I wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about all these rulers. Um, what we've got here is a standard Fiskars ruler. This is something you can get down at Joanne's Fabrics or wherever. Next one we've got is the Creative Grids, which this one Marnay fell in love with when she first got it. I didn't really see all the excitement. And the other one I've got is a Quilter Select. Um, this ruler is a game changer for you quilters out there. And let me show you why. These two rulers are just made out of acrylic plastic. They're actually the exact same material. The only difference is the Quilter Select has these little dots on the bottom that act as like a gripper. So it helps to That's hold the creative the grids. Or, I'm sorry. The creative grids has these um little dots on the bottom that helps to hold the fabric in place. And you can kind of see the difference. So I'm just going to set these rulers down on top of the fabric and I'm just going to slide them around. And you'll notice the Fiskars just slides on the fabric and doesn't really do much. The creative or the uh, yeah, creative grids will kind of hold the fabric but you see how the fabric will still slide around where the quilter select ruler you put that on and it holds the fabric no matter what you do with it um and where this becomes really important for you guys is when you're cutting your fabric so let's say we're just going to use the fiskers and i'm just going to take a, a chunk out of this so if you're not really holding the ruler in place it's really easy for the ruler to get off and here I started from a quarter inch and went to a half an inch. Same thing too with the creative grids. Even though this one does hold a little bit better, we're going to try to cut this down to a three inch slice here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure on it and this one holds pretty decent. But then if we move over to the quilter select ruler this guy is just an absolute game changer because you don't really have to hold it at all and the fabric is going to stay right in place for you and give you a nice clean cut the other thing i'd like to kind of show you guys we actually bought this off of amazon and i don't it's not even a name brand on it but this guy really comes in handy too when you've got to do a lot of cutting because you can get it lined up and just do you know move from line to line to line and cut your fabric um i use this a lot when i'm trimming quilts so again for those of you that are are new to quilting or just getting into quilting um you can spend a little money on a something you get down at Joann's. This ruler probably runs about 15, 20 bucks. The Creative Grids, how much did you give for this? Um, they run about 40 bucks. So this is about 40 bucks. And uh, the Quilter Select, I think I gave right around, uh, I don't remember, but it seems like it was someplace around 45 or maybe $50. So this is definitely a little bit more of an expensive ruler, but it's a ruler that you're not gonna have to replace. It's actually made out of a different material than these guys. It's not just an acrylic plastic, and I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it's got a, it's, it's not sticky, but it's got a grip to it. It's, it's, it's a really neat ruler. So again, we weren't planning on doing this, but I was so impressed with this Quilter Select that I had to kind of share it with you guys. So uh, if you got any questions about stuff, let us know. Uh, if you've got a quilt that you'd like quilted here at the farmhouse, get a hold of us at countryfarmhousequilting at gmail.com. And make sure you check out Sheets So Creative online. It's uh, sheetssocreative.com. Um, they do. They are a vendor for Quilter Select, so they can definitely get you a, a Quilter Select ruler in any size that you want. And I also think they've got the creative grids and some of the, the cheaper ones too. Mm -hmm. So if you're just getting started, it's up to you, but you can spend a little bit of money on this guy, a little bit more on this guy, or you can get the Cadillac and never have to buy a ruler again. So that's about all I got. Again, if you got any questions, let us know. If you want to say hi, shoot us an email at countryfarmhousequilting at gmail.com. 
We read every email and respond to every one of them. So thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you later.